Hey guys, in this tutorial we are going to see how to integrate Google Sheet with Node.js application. So here we have a simple demo where we have a form. Uh, so we are going to store this data into the Google Sheet. The main purpose of having this example is there might be a scenario where you have to uh, save all your bookings uh, from your Node.js application to Google Sheet for future reference or maybe for the sales team. So we are going to have that scenario. Let's fill up this form very quickly and see the complete workflow of it. So here we filled up the form. Uh, let's go and submit it and see how it works. So once we submit it, we do have uh, the particular success message along with uh, the Google Sheet link. We can go to the sheet and verify whether the data show stored it or not. Yep, so we got the data here. So here is a simple demo of it. Let's see how we can able to build something like this. Let's create a basic express application setup along with the template engine to uh, complete the functionality. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple directory. So inside this directory, we are going to install initialize npm. So once we have this, we can go to the VS code and install the required dependencies here. So let's install Express along with few other dependencies such as the EJS, which is a template engine for Express application. Then we are going to install the body parser. We are going to install Express EJS layout for mapping the Express application along with EJS template engines. Finally, we are going to install uh, NodeFetch. Uh, I will come back to that uh, reason why we need that NodeFetch uh, library. So once we install this, let's create a, a main entry file which is app.js it can be either index.js app.js it's uh, up to our uh, priority let's import all the installed dependencies inside our app.js So we are starting the server uh, by providing the app.listen here. So let's console it. The server is started listening in and port 3006. Here we have a very basic setup. Let's check whether the express server is started in the particular port. We can do that by providing the command node app.js. So it says the server is listening on port 3006. Let's verify it. As you can see that uh, it provides an error as I cannot get. The reason for this is we haven't provided any route uh, for our express server. Let's provide one here. welcome message see how it works now as you can see that we got the welcome message let's uh, integrate uh, the templating engine setup and create some views for our application here uh, 
uh, let's integrate uh, the template engine with our express application let's quickly create views for the app so what we are going to do is we are going to set up uh, the middleware for express layout and we are going to set the EJS as the view engine for the express application now let's create the views for our application so here we are going to have the basic layout let me just quickly copy paste the code since it is a repetitive one the next thing is gonna be a dashboard basically it's gonna contain the form uh, that whenever we save that form we are gonna get the data from there and store it in the Google Sheet Finally, we are going to have a view for success message. So now we have uh, successfully integrated the view. Let's check whether it's loading properly in our application. So before doing that, we just need to change the response sent to response sender because we need to render the dashboard view so as you can see that we got the form let's integrate the api route for getting the post data from the form now we need to integrate the Google Sheet with our uh, Express application. The way to do this is like we have a post request where we get all the data from the form. Here we are going to uh, integrate uh, the Google Sheet and store those data into the Google Sheet. So one of the easy way rather than reinventing the wheel we can have to implement something. So here uh, this guy has written a uh, script which we are going to use it in our Google Sheet. Let's create a Google Sheet here and uh, integrate that script into the sheet let us create a empty sheet and name it as let's name it as a dashboard and we are also let's name here as well so what we need to do is we just need to go to the tools and click on the script editor so it will open a macro script editor so which uh, where we are going to write our script so basically we are just going to copy the script and paste it there basically what it does is like uh, it would get all the columns names and try to map it with our uh, Google Sheet URL that we have defined in the our express application so to try to map the query string along with the column name and store the data exactly on the respective columns so we just need to change the sheet name here because we named it as a dashboard so let's change it as change it to dashboard so once we change it we just need to save it so let's name here as well dashboard script after that we just need to run the function which is setup 
once we click it it will ask you for the authorization just try to click on the review permission so it will redirect you to your google account so if it comes or if it's just try to go to this one so once that gets completed uh, publish click on the publish and deploy as click on the deploy as web app so here is important thing to remember uh, the second and third parameters are most important so the execute the app as should be your account and who has access to the app should be anyone even anonymous because uh, let's say that you want to run this particular application in your server so it can be it, it shouldn't your script macro script shouldn't block that server so we just need to give it as anyone or even anonymous so let's deploy our script so once you deploy it you will be getting a script url so just try to copy this one we would be needing this particular url in our in our web express application once you get this url i'm just going to have it here So basically what we are going to do is we are going to fetch this particular URL along with some query string parameters. So what it will do is it will pick up that particular uh, request and get all the query strings. The macro script pick, picks up this particular request and get all the query strings and map it with along the column names that we have defined in the Google sheet. So here we are going to go and create the column names as name email let's name it as phone from date to it so for the sake of presentation let's get something like So now here in our express application, we need to have the fetch, which we have installed in the beginning, which is node fetch. So here we are going to write the URL. Which should be Google sheet URL and the respective query parameter. So the query string parameter name should match exactly with the column names that we have defined in the sheet. for the sake of visibility let me expand this one and we have phone then we have from date finally we have to date Now we have the URL, we just need to uh, hit the fetch for the particular URL. Let's call it as fetch. Let's console the result here.
let's catch if there is any error just for the confirmation let's check whether we have installed the node fetch yep we got it okay. hopefully it should work now let's restart our server and check a particular application here let's give it as john email us john So it says uh, the particular data is stored in the Google Sheet. Uh, let's go to the sheet and check verify. Yeah, we got the data here. So this is a simple way to implement and integrate the Google Sheet in a Node.js application. There are other ways also, but this is a bit easy one to implement if you have only to store the data uh, in the Google Sheet. There is also a way to retrieve the data. Uh, or maybe post the data from Google Sheet to somewhere else. We will see those advanced things in the next tutorial.